Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to bring you the guide of Zhao Zhao that she's here right now and I hope you are so happy because she's one of the best 4 stars options that we have right now on the game. It's one of the best tender appliers and she's really cute to be honest and yeah that's all let's get started with this guide of this cute new character that we got okay for weapons let's start with weapons for weapons you want Fobonius lens or even the the black diesel black diesel is okay because it gives you more hp and you heal with hp all right if you want to play her on nilu teams where she triggers the reactions I recommend going for elemental mastery uh, weapons like for example the Kitani Cross Spear that gives us elemental mastery or the Dragon's Bane which is the best choice because it gives you 221 elemental mastery plus if the enemies are inflated with Hydro which you will deal more damage to them if you don't have any of those you can put Catch that it's free to play or the, the weapon that is from Inazuma Forge that you can put on her that's actually pretty nice too i highly prefer the phonus lance i leveling it because right now my yao yao is work in progress but i wanted to bring you this guide because i found it that her is her kit is super good and i'm really happy with her for artifacts what do you want to put on her okay i i know i have this set put it on her but it's because i'm testing it if you don't have other dendro i highly recommend putting four pieces the foot of memories if you have uh Adendro, I highly recommend going for something like Glider Dreams or two pieces attack percent, two, uh, I mean two pieces elemental mastery, two pieces deep memories. Uh, if it's the case that you want to play with Nilu, like it's my case, you can go with four pieces Glider Dreams or four pieces of, of the Flower of, of Paradise Lost because it's insane on this type of teams. Actually, you can go for pieces, for pieces the Emblem Severed of Fate in order to add more of your church and have your ultimate up more often. I highly recommend if you want to play her as a uh, only healer, go with 4 pieces tenacity of the Myelith because it gives you a lot of HP and they give you the, incre the increase that, that deals more damage to the enemies. And if you don't want any of these, you can play four pieces in structure in order to when you trigger elemental reactions you will uh, trigger the elemental mastery buff about uh, 120 for 8 seconds which is super insane so yeah that's the way to go if you want to, pull, to play her as only healer put HP on the sands HP on the goblet and HP on the circle or um, the buff of healing bonus percent if you don't want to play her as a healer and you want to trigger reactions like for example on the Nilo's team what I, what I said is you want to play Elemental Mastery, Elemental Mastery and Elemental Mastery she's quite easy to play to be honest she doesn't require a lot for constellations she at C0 is amazing it has been a long time without having a good C0 on the game so she's really amazing but we're gonna be going for the constellations C1 is nice because it is you more dendro damage on AoE, which is great. C2 is insane because it gives you more energy recharge, which you need a lot. I kind of forget that if you can play energy recharge, and it will be really good, actually. So yeah, this helps you recharge your ultimate. The C3 more, more levels. The C4, it gives you elemental mastery busted on HP of the, of the Yao Yao, which is kind of insane. C5 more levels. And finally, C6, it will deal the nets, nets uh, things that when the radishes explode, that deal dendro damage based on Yao Yao's attack percent and restores HP on the active character based on Yao Yao my HP. So, more healing, more damage. Okay, so normal attacks are, well, that. Normal attacks. <laughs> for talent, for her E talent, you, you summon the bunny and heal important thing here of the bunny look at this is that if if you are not getting healed it will leave these things and you can get it for healing if you are not fully healed it will target you and will heal you like this okay and for the ultimate important thing to note about the ultimate of yao yao 
is that it will deal the same, but you can do this, ult, and you will be pulling radishes and, the, and more bunnies. You can see how many bunnies I have on the field. Four bunnies on the field. The bad thing of the ultimate is that if you change your, car your active character, and it's not Yao Yao, you will lose the ultimate. So keep in mind that, that you want to summon the four bunnies and swap to Yao Yao, uh, and swap Yao Yao back if you want. So yeah. That's the good thing and bad thing about the ultimate, but just keep it in mind. Star Skate is well affected by that by the E. You will constantly throw white radishes. That's what I I show it to you that it's on the field and you can heal it. And this is super great. I didn't have yet because I didn't farm it for so much. So I'm sorry for that, but it will get more AoE damage and it, it will be regain more HP. So that's super insane. Then the depot is that your crystal flies and certain animals won't won't watch you, which is cool. And yeah, that's all of the Yao Yao skit. Let's get into the team section, which is pretty interesting. Okay, for team section on Yao Yao, I highly recommend going with the team that I'm showing you. That is the Nilo team. If you don't have Nilo team, you can play on an aggravate team like Kim Beidou or Jaemiko. If you have, if you want an elemental mastery team, you can play Kuki Shinobu, Raiden with her, or even a double dendro team with Nahida, like this team I'm playing. This team is a double dendro team with Nahida, or even a Heitham. If you have a Heitham here, you can play a Heitham or a double dendro with two, um, two Electros. It's quite good that. I will be showing it to all the teams uh, right now, or even the the Toma version can be good. So yeah, let's get started with the teams. Okay, so let's get started with this team. I want to show it on a multi-target enemy, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do this, and you can see how strong it is. This, and I'm healing myself, which is super nice. Even though my Yao Yao is not super much set up. So I think this team is quite strong. So let's get into other teams. Okay, so let's showcase a team with Al Haytham, Yao Yao, Chin Q and Cookie. As I told you. I'm gonna start with this in order to heal. Great blooms. I'm gonna create some more. Pull this. And you can see how good it is this team. And I'm gonna pull with her. You can see how the Hydra, the fucking Dender Appliance, maintains the the appliance of Chinkyu. I don't want to kill him, so I'm gonna just leave it to here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's get to another team. Okay, so here we are with the next team, with a Keking team. Average Keking team with aggravate reactions, as you can see. I'm gonna do this, this. I'm gonna do this. Now Kekin comes to the field. And you can see that this team actually does a pretty good job. And I can still heal. You can see that my HP doesn't go down that much. I can ult again. I'm gonna kill him probably if I don't stop. But, uh, so you can see that this team actually works really good for Yao Yao too. We are, well, I'm using Fischl, you know, I'm Chin Q, but Yao Yao is quite healing a lot. And she's applying tons of Dendro, which is the important thing of this team. Yao Yao applies a lot of Dendro. Now I'm gonna do a showcase for the Toma. And yeah, that's the last thing that we'll be doing. Okay, so here we are for the last team that I wanted to show you. The, the Barjon team with Yao Yao. And Yao Yao will be our, our main damage dealer here. Because we are gonna play her on fielder. So I'm gonna do this, apply some blooms into it. I'm gonna do this, this, then gonna do this. And let's start with the version reactions. As you can see we get a lot of versions. Now that it ends, I'm gonna go back again to Chinkyu. Chinkyu here. Well, I don't have enough energy to recharge because I'm dumb. Then gonna do this. They're gonna get the ultimate again and try to get Barions. So yeah, you see that this team is pretty neat too. I mean, I needed more energy recharge on Tomaya. 
but this team was actually super great and I really enjoy playing Yao 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 Yao. It's amazing. It heals your team by a lot and applies a lot of dendro. I mean, she's super good at C0. You know, I, I don't have constellations as you see on the on this. So I highly recommend getting her on the Lantern Right event. I'm gonna do a video about which character you should get, but I highly recommend getting her. Her is amazing. So yeah, that's all for this guy, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and help me out to reach more people and reach more more people to get these videos and yeah that's all for this video thank you for watching bye bye